Hey, what's good YouTube? Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, my series Skylines and modded Let's Play series. In the last episode I have said that today we are going to build the airport and that's exactly what we are going to do, so without further ado, let me take you to the construction site and explain to you what I have in mind. If you have been following me for a while now, you know that the airport will be located in this particular location. Uh, this big empty lot that I have over here in my leisure island and that's exactly where I'm going to place the airport now I've already been taking some measurements I can even show you that the airport is going to fit um, very snugly over here so this I will probably have to do some terraforming work but um, yeah I think we can start placing the airport and start working on it also, I am gonna let you know on a little secret, I have already built the airport, or at least part of it. This is actually a old save game uh, of my city, uh, and I have already built the airport, but I am not going to spoil anything for you. I am gonna um, show you the footage of me building it, and then I'll meet you in a moment to explain you how everything works, and also to continue the project uh, by doing some live building. So yeah guys, this is a long awaited moment for uh, a lot of you and I hope you enjoy it. Roll the footage. So, what do you think? I don't wanna brag, but I think we're off to a very good start. Now, as I've mentioned, this is not the final product, not even close. Uh, I still have to do some modifications, some road adjustments and also some terraforming, of course. But um, yeah, I'm gonna dedicate this episode, or at least I've dedicated this episode to set up the foundation for the airport. and lay out the basic road structure and also place the airport and this is what we have so yeah i think uh, i can show you and explain to you 
uh, how exactly do you get on and off the airport. Okay, so the first thing that I had to do was extend the land and uh, take a bit of sea because unfortunately the airport did not fit uh, how I wanted it to fit in the existing uh, land structure that we had. So that's the first thing that I had to do. And I've kind of had this um, square shape that um, goes straight to the sea. And it's outlined by this road that I'm probably gonna use as a maintenance road. So this is probably not even gonna be used by people. Or at least I think so. I might even go to the Steam Workshop and download some assets such as, I don't know, uh, a radio tower or some airport specific assets that I can put along this road. I think it will look a uh, pretty cool. But uh, for now we're gonna keep it at that. Uh, also another thing that I've done, if you remember, I used to have a road uh, parallel to this one, the, which was the extension of this avenue that would pretty much wrap around the island and connect to this uh, road over here that connects back to the um, highway. And I pretty much went ahead and deleted it, got rid of it completely because, uh, well, I found out it's not pretty much necessary. Initially, when I've built it, I was thinking of having an industrial complex, an oil factory um, complex right about in this location because this area is pretty much full of oil, as you can see. But uh, given the fact that I have given up on that idea, that road is uh, basically useless right now. So I decided to delete it and I simply have this road over here that bypasses the airport, goes through this tunnel right underneath the uh, runways and connects um, to this main road over here. And I think I'll turn this area um, into a residential space. Perhaps a luxurious uh, residential space right next to the shoreline. But I'm still not sure, I will have to think about it. Now, how exactly do you get on and off the airport? Well, if you're coming from this highway, you pretty much have a couple of accesses. You can get out of the highway right about over here, as I've explained you uh, on the video where I've built this interchange and get to this road, do this loop and get access to the airport and then here you will have a nice setup of options of where to go. You can either take this avenue, go straight into a tunnel and connect to the main road layout where you will have the offices and all the leisure buildings or you can keep going ahead and use these um, on-ramps to get off the city and get to uh, this part of the city, to, to this particular island that uh, doesn't have anything in it yet. Likewise, you can also get out of the airport right about over here through this road and go to this side of the city, right next to the trumpet interchange. And you also have access to the airport via this highway. But yeah guys, that's pretty much what I have done so far. Um, I think we're off uh, to a good foundation, at least I believe so, and I hope you guys like this airport as well. Now I will just want to spend the next few moments in making some adjustments, and in the next episode we are definitely going to finish up this project. So the first thing that I want to do, I want to pause the simulation, and I think we can round off these rows a little bit better, make them a bit smoother. So I'm going to grab my roads and I am gonna make um, some shapes, some little connections that I can then run them um, in a future stage. Not a future stage, but right after I do this. And another one, of course, I am not able to do this, but perhaps we can shift the system and do it like this. Okay, perfect. Delete all of these connections. There you go. And now we can round everything. And this will give the layout a much more organic shape. And this is kind of messed up. Let me try this again. Alright, there you go, much better. Much more attractive. And now I think I need to connect these roads to the main road layout 
even though people are probably not going to use it, I still want to have, have these rows usable, just in case it's necessary, so uh, I need to continue it um, all the way uh, and wrap around this highway and connect to this main road. Let me just see what's the distance between the end of the runway to the perpendicular road, it's about a cost of 440, so the same thing it will have to come at about over here okay that's no biggie for me perhaps I can um, extend the terrain a bit I need to be careful with uh, our soil availability but initially that will be no problem so 440 is all about the way over here and yeah I think I think that's okay now let's just Wrap it around and I connect everything. Okay, pretty good. And let's do the same on the other side. We need to be careful because we are quite limited in space in this location, but perhaps we can make a diagonal road. And first and foremost, let's extend the terrain just to be able to do this. So, cost of 440, this will have to go really tight, hopefully that will not be a problem. I think we can come over here, okay, make a diagonal road and we shall connect everything at around that road, okay. So, let's just round up all the corners. Alright, all the corners are smooth now, for some reason that um, gave him more trouble than I was expecting, but we got that out of the way, which is good. Now, for the next step, what I want to do is polish the terrain and do some terraforming, um, pretty much just around the edge, so that's something we can start doing. I am going to grab this level of land and I'm gonna polish this thing over here. And smooth this area and I want to try and make sure that when you zoom out uh, you don't get this blue effect this is a kind of a glitch a game has when you terraform right next to roads so I want to try to avoid that because this really doesn't look good on the thumbnails but um, yeah let's try and do that I am gonna go all across the highland and try to polish these things up. I'm gonna smoothen the terrain a bit at around up here. Okay, uh, we can adjust this area as well. Uh, but first, I want to extend this land just to avoid that um, blue glitch that we usually have. I want to try to minimize that. So now, if I zoom out. Uh, okay, it looks pretty good up at around uh, this um, gap, this edge, but over here it's um, pretty much messed up, so this is probably something that I'll have to work on in the future, and I don't even think I can do uh, anything regarding this uh, area because it's uh, very close to the avenue, uh, this on-ramp and also this avenue, so I think we'll have to keep it. So, uh, I'm just gonna work on this area of the, of the terrain. I want to go a little bit inside. Okay, and now we can grab this softened terrain tool and make this area much more pleasing. Okay, I think it looks uh, rather nice. Let's just see how it looks from far away. Okay, this area is uh, blue glitch free, which is great. Perhaps we can even do the same over here. I'm not going to touch this area because, as I said before, I'm planning on zoning something over here. So I do not want to touch the terrain um, before doing the road layout. What I can do, however, is smooth the terrain um, right next to the highway. Or the road that goes along the runway, so to say. This isn't even a highway, I don't know why I called it that. But let's just bring the terrain a bit over, over here. And let's also 
map the terrain at around the road, the service road. Okay, very nice. And we can even do the same around over here. Perhaps we can even make a ramp that goes downside. Alright, much cleaner, it looks much better. Now the final thing that I want to do regarding terraforming is work on this cliff because it is very steep and I think we can do a better job. So let's smooth everything. And yeah, I think I think it's better. Let's just see how it looks from far away and yeah, no blue glitch at all over here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for terraforming. Alright guys, I think we're done with the airport for today. Uh, before moving on to other projects, there are some things that I would like to explain, or at least address. Uh, when I've built the interchange layout, and also all the on and off ramps, I also provided these, um, let me show you, these tunnels. Why can I not go, uh, oh there you go, the underground view. I have also made these tunnels that would give some additional accesses to um, this part of the terrain. But because I already have this connection um, over here that uh, goes at around uh, roundabout and will connect to the buildings adjacent to it, I don't think we need um, these tunnels, uh, this on and off ramp that connect pretty much to the same location. So I am gonna delete them because they are pretty much useless at this point, or at least unnecessary. There you go. But I am going to keep this one, and I will definitely connect it to somewhere at around um, over here in this uh, curvy shape, where I'll probably zone some things. Now I will also need to adjust uh, this thing, because it got pretty much um, ugly. Alright, much better on my eyes. And the final thing that I want to address is the metro system. Now, as you know, the international airport has a metro connection, as you can see. Um, this uh, little segment is a segment of subway that you need to connect to your main uh, metro network. And if you remember, I have said that this island would have its own particular metro connection and it would not be connected to the rest of the city. And if you wanted to travel between islands using public transportation, you would have pretty much to use the monorail that you can see uh, goes on a loop across the entire city or the ferries. Now, I have given some thought about this decision and I've changed my mind. Metro is pretty much one of the most efficient means of transportation in this game. Citizens like to use it a lot, so I think I'm going to connect the metro on this island to the main metro system of our city. So the most obvious solution will be to continue um, this um, segment of subway. Perhaps I can even go underneath the escape to minimize the portion of the subway that is underwater and connect it to the highland and straight to uh, the airport. And I can even continue the metro connection uh, on this airport to this island and then finish it up on this metro segment. I think it will uh, turn out to be a much more efficient way of transporting people around between highlands. So yeah, perhaps that's something that we can address on the next episode. But for now, we are done with the airport, so let's move on to other projects before finishing up this episode. Alright guys, we're back in our park area. Now you must be wondering, why are we here? Well, and the reason is simple. I said on the last episode, when I built this park, that I wasn't gonna put a main gate on it, and it was going to pretty much be a free park. But, um... I changed my mind. I think, um, first and foremost, when you place uh, some gates on the park and make it taxable, you can start putting some assets and props um, right alongside the pathways, and I think that's something that this area um, is missing. So I think I want to add a bit more detail to the park, and maybe if we can get a bit of income from it, that's even better. 
And the reason why this area is also prone to be very successful with tourists is that is because it's pretty close to a landmark, which is the oppression office, and that will incentivize people to get into the park, pay the ticket price, and well, generate revenue. So there's only one way to find out, and it's to place some gates on the park and put some assets and see if people uh, actually use it. Now, I am not going to make the entire part of the park taxable. I think I'm just gonna make this area right next to the operation office, uh, limited by uh, these roads. And yeah, I think that's something we can start try out. So I'm gonna pause the simulation. I am going to delete this pathway access from uh, the free part of the park. And I'm also going to delete these connections and I'm going to place the main gate and it's this one perhaps I can even put the small one uh, yeah I'm going to start with the small one and if we have space I'm going to replace it with a bigger one and I'm going to connect it all the way over here pretty cool and now we need to replace all of these pathways that connect the roads uh, with um, gates so I'm also going to get rid of some trees uh, so that we can see the gates a bit better. Now let's select the side gate, place one over here, place another one over there and connect everything right back. Do the same over here. Perfect. Let's do a little bit of trees uh, just for the time being. Uh, in the long run, I think I will end to put some fences all around the park. But for now, let's just set up the foundation. I uh, am finally I'm going to put some park gates all the way over here as well. But this is going to give us some problems, um, perhaps because I cannot connect the pathway. Yeah, of course. So I need to think of a better way to do this. And I think the best way we have of doing this is continuing the pathway all the way until the statue and connect it to um, the other pathways like this. And yep, there we go. It doesn't look half bad. I like it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I want to start placing some assets. I'm going to start with the park plaza for now. And I'm gonna put what's the um, upkeep on this eight dollars. That's pretty much nothing. So I'm gonna put one over here, another one over here, and let's try to keep the same distance between plazas and add two more of these right next to um, the pathway. And yeah, I think I think it's a good start. Uh, perhaps in the future I am going to place some tiles on this location right around the statue. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. These tiles, as you can see, this custom flooring that I think will be used to make a custom plaza. Um, kind of a place where people go to eat. Uh, similar to what we have done in the amusement park. But anyway, let's resume the simulation and see if people start using this park. So right now we have an entertainment value of 330 out of 220, so this is more than enough to go to level 2. Uh, we still haven't made any income because people are not using the park yet, we need to wait a bit more. So let's just do that. Oh, there we go. We already have an income of 110. Let's see if we can give this park a positive balance. Oh, did you see that? Did you see what this guy did? He didn't pay the ticket price. He went right around the gate. I think we'll have to scoot this uh, gate a bit to the left so that this kind of thing doesn't happen. Did you see? He did it again. So yeah, that's something that we need to work on. And perhaps the same at around uh, the opposite corner. And let's see what's going on over here. Let's see if people are using... Um, this park, it doesn't seem like it. Well, perhaps when I had some more assets... Oh, there you go. 
Oh, it was the park in the car. Never mind. Let's see if these people go into the park. And there we go. Perfect. Um, but yeah, guys, I think when we play some more assets in this park, people will use it more. Let's just see. Uh, yeah, we're making an income of 80 and we're pretty much incurring on a loss, but that's fine. Uh, because as I was saying, when we play some more assets or some walking tours that go right through the middle of the park, we will have some more visitors, so I'm not really worried about this. And speaking of parks, look at this. Rebuilding this thing is going to be a pain, I can already tell. Uh, yeah, what a mess. Let's just rebuild everything back again. Come on, deal with it faster so I can rebuild it, please. There we go, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Helicopter. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. The airport was something that a lot of you were expecting and I hope it went according to your expectations. Today we have built the basic foundation of the airport and on the next episode we are probably going to finish the whole thing up by polishing some details and we are also going to activate it and see people coming to our city through hair. That's something really exciting that I'm very eager to watch. And that's gonna be it for today, if you are interested in following the development of this city, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't so already, so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, have fun!